to reiterate why this channel exists, I picked up Unity and Playmaker like a year, year and a half ago. I'm not a game developer, I'm a web developer, so I know how to code a little bit. It's a Unix system. Uh, it's kind of new to me and I picked it up from YouTube videos. The channel isn't exploding. I think I, think I pick up like one subscriber a day, so uh, by the time I hit a thousand subs, I will, uh, I'll be dead. Okay, so this tutorial is going to be how to do events correctly. If you followed along at all, I made this little house and I want to do this thing where you kind of have to stay healthy by picking up things and clicking on things, just like a kind of like a life simulator. But, you know, as I kind of built it out, I was more interested in getting the pieces to animate and things like that. But why I mentioned the beginner thing is now that I've got pieces built, I've got to go back to the basics and make things interact correctly. So this is a beginner tutorial. What's the big problem here is I've got an interact system. This is my main FSM genius and my main FSM. It's just listen, listening for things I'm clicking, right? And see if there's a match. Don't call me stupid. When you open the door, the door should know it's open and you can access things within it. Instead, I've got this mindless thing checking for everything click and then it ripples down. Why is that bad? So in this massive list, the player clicks one of these massive items in this massive list of everything in the house. That includes things in a drawer after you open the drawer. What does that object do? So you, you open the fridge, you click on an apple. That gives you health. Great. What does that, what does that give you? Well, you go to the strength FSM. Right, and if you actually get that strength, what happens there? Well, you become less hungry and you become faster. And then based on that, you get increased health, blah, 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 blah. And this just keeps spidering if you use this model of one giant FSM to interact and branch, which is kind of like how the human brain works. If you do this, you have several different branches. But what you should be doing is putting the intelligence on each object and keeping your main interact FSM clean. You'll see over here from the branching, if I click on the TV object, you'll see click TV and then it jumps to the click TV uh, event. Let me click over here. You'll see a genius piece of logic, set random material, which it just changes the actual JPEG that's slapped on the front of the screen and it jumps back to the listening state. That's not how you do it. Everyone in this room is now dumber for having listened to it. Now ignore, ignore all this stuff. It looks complicated, but we're gonna start back from square one and show how you do interact events correctly. Okay, so now all our junk is uh, separated. What we're gonna do is just listen for a mouse click first and just kind of hang out. Do a mouse, so uh, get mouse button down. That's good. Left, send event. Um, click yo. If you don't have that right, just do new event and just name it whatever you want. So we got click yo, hold down control, drag down. And we're gonna do a mouse picked. And per that name, we want to find out what we actually clicked on. So, mouse pick, here it is. So, right here, nothing special. We're just going to make a variable called um, da, 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 store game object. We'll go and we could do a new variable called is selected. Create the variable. And that's pretty much it. You can change your distance, but we're not going to fool with it right now. Put in a finish state. Control, drag back over. And this is kind of where all the fun, start, fun stuff happens. And we're going to do this. Uh, this is going to send event to object. This label doesn't matter. 
Okay, and here we're gonna do a send event. Send event. And what are we sending it to? It's gonna be the object that we just clicked on. So the target is actually gonna be an FSM within an object. And we're gonna send that to an game object FSM. But what's the object? Well, we stored it back here in the mouse pick called is selected. So just gonna grab that. We should already know what that is. We are going to specify the game object and see that little drop down. It's looking for something to drag over or you type in or drag over, but we have a variable. So that's why you look over here for the equal sign. You click that, use variable, click that, and then you drop it down. And there's in selected. Hey, and the FSM name, let's go and name it something generic, a placeholder. And we're going to call it object. So we need to create a global action that we're going to pass. And all the, all the objects in the scene are going to have the exact same name. So let's go ahead and create a new global event. Actually, well, I already have something called interact event. But no, normally you would just do new global event. But I have one right now, and there's nothing wired to it. But I just named it interact event. So you can name it whatever. And I think we're done here, so we're just going to go and do a finish state and wire it back up to listen for a mouse click. Now, let's go ahead and have one of these objects listening to our new stuff. So we're going to go back to our TV and go back to inspector. There's nothing special about it. There's a box collider. If you don't have one, add one to it. And we're going to add a component, a Playmaker FSM. Just click that. And we are going to name this what we're going to, what we're calling from our last one. We're going to call this object. Okay, now if we go back to our TV and we look at the TV's FSM, there it is. It's called object. Okay, so here's our FSM. Now we need to add that global event that we already created. So we right click this, add a global transition, custom events, and we call that interact event. Now that basically, every time we click that button, it should fire this off. Let's go ahead and check that. So we zip around, we're firing, nothing's happening, but if we actually fire off the TV, we should see that thing flashing, okay? That's going to go off every time. And we don't need a finish transition. It's just going to fire and execute whatever code is in there. Now we have all of our work already done back in the other main FSM that we kind of hobbled here. So our TV, all we were doing was set the random channel. So I'm going to go ahead and click that. In the previous video, I showed you what all this junk is. But go back over to here. Interact event. And we're just going to paste that down. So if all goes well, you now zipping around the room. We're firing off. It doesn't have any object that matches the TV. But if we actually hit the TV, it changes this channel. So that's how you can embed the logic in the objects you're hitting instead of having all this nasty tree junk here. Okay. So I'm going to do this in small pieces and start to build up the logic for the game. Hopefully this was clear. Feel free to leave a comment in the comment section and I'll answer them right away. All right, cool. Later.